Welcome to all sins and commandments alike. This is Griever, you guys' host as always, bringing you guys the latest episode review of Seven Deadly Sins, Wrath of the Gods. Now, alright, so this episode had some highs and some lows. Mostly lows. But it's hard for me. It's hard for me to criticize such a pinnacle point in the manga. A pinnacle point in this plot, in this story. This is some of the A material. This is some of the A grade material that we have been come to expect from Taizai. This is some of the, the good stuff. And yet, and yet somehow I find myself either watching it and just laying back sort of like ah, yeah all right enjoy whatever or I sit there there's there's only two versions either that or me sitting there going well that's a still that's terrible animation now that doesn't work there shit why am I not reading the manga again so those are my two reactions. I'm either nail biting or I'm just relaxing to a point of don't give a fuck. And this episode pretty much gives us an abysmal, an abysmal first start because we have the revelation. Of the true essence that is never fully explored, but the true essence of the pacifier demon, the napping demon, and the two crown princes of the demon king himself. Done in such a bad shot that I'm just like, what? What? Like, it's so bad. It is so goddamn bad. We see it for a split second. We have zero animation. We have zero feels. It's just done. Uh, the the one good thing out of this whole scene with Arthur against Cusack, Chandler, uh, Meliodas, and Zeldris is they, they really do cut down on that, though. In the manga, it's more explained as to why. But, uh, you know, Cusack has his, half of his mustache cut off, and he's all like, Donny. Nani! But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, it's comical, but they they do not extend the scene very well because basically what happened was they explained how all the heroes are afraid and you over abused your body and stuff. They 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 touch upon it lightly, but I felt like the manga had at least a paragraph more worth of dialogue to kind of explain this to kind of say, look, you pulled the sword. Great for you, kid. But at the end of the day, you are using the power of heroes that are beyond you. You are sitting at the foot, the heels of these heroes. That's all explained here. But then we get the whole, like, the very badly animated, like, okay, he's cut all over, he's bloody sort of idea. And then he falls to the ground and such. And Cusack continues to mock him. But what's not really explained, it's just one throwaway line, is that the heroes are afraid. And it's like, no, no, no. You need to explain that fully. You need to understand that all of the heroes, every single one, that silent swordsman, that King Calephon, the all the heroes that have touched Excalibur and built it into the ultimate human hero blade that it is, only fought against low-level demons. We are the highest of the high. We are the greatest demons. These Four demons before you are the four greatest demons next to the demon king himself. And that blade trembles because every hero is afraid. That's what should have been said. Not some throwaway line like, look, the blade trembles itself. That was poorly handled. That should have been epic. This whole last episode should have been epic. This episode should have been epic. But the animation is just not allowing it to be such. And then... Cusack. 
grabs Arthur's hair, looks him in the eye, and resonates. And we don't know what that is, but I'll tell you what it is. Merlin shows up, takes Arthur away, banters some words. Arthur stabs himself because of resonate, which was cool in the manga, but here's the best shot from that whole sequence in the anime. And here's the best shot from the manga. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the anime has, so far, over 21 episodes, has prided itself on stills. Poorly drawn stills, but stills nonetheless. For some reason, nobody could have digitally colored this and thrown it in the anime. I'm... Like, there's a beautiful shot in the manga. Remember, manga is all stills. Yet somehow they convey greatness to us. This anime can't even pull off stills correctly. This is what pissed me off the most about this episode. This was the kicker that really pissed me off. Because this moment was epic. Came by surprise. Nobody knew what happened. And the anime butchered it. It did not bring in the proper tone. It didn't build it up. It was just like, oh, let's go through the story and boom. I'm so tired. I am so tired of going through this. It's just, I want to like something about this series again. I need, you know what I need to do? I need to take a break. I need to step back from this season. I need to step back from the manga. What I need to do is take a week break, two week break, and then watch the dub season one on Netflix. Then pick up all the manga volumes, which I own up to volume 35, and start reading Taizai again. And understand why I loved this series. That's what I think I need to do. Because this is just... Halfway through the episode, and I just can't. I mean, other things happen. After Arthur dies, or whatever, stabs himself, he's... Whatever. Uh... We have a scene with Escanor that could have been handled well between Escanor and Merlin. We have the coughing scene. We have the blood. We have the cat scene. Uh, we have the Arthur and uh, Elizabeth, or the uh, Merlin and Elizabeth scene. We have scenes here that could have been handled well. None of them really were. Kath looks absolutely demonic here. We should have known. Everyone knew Kath was not what it seemed, but nah. And then we get the final insult to injury, which is Escanor in a purple fur coat. Now, do not get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I like the color purple. I do. I enjoy the color purple. But... When you take a lion's mane of gold trim with a white coat. Drawn by Nakaba himself. Colorized. And you make it a, sh a shade of a fuchsia purple poison color from coughing of Pokemon. I am distraught. Escanor can't look bad in any color palette. It's nearly impossible. But I will say it was disappointing because the contrast between the blue shiny pants and the white coat was supposed to be the thing. That's all I can say. I can't go on, guys. I, I, I can't. I heard, uh, before I watched this episode, I heard no less than at least two people in my Discord saying they tried to watch this episode, and actually, uh, one above all, who's usually in my Discord, in my live streams and such, uh, said to me, 
uh, or said uh, in general, like I watched 10 minutes and had to shut it off. I just couldn't. And now I kind of understand what, what he meant because this is, I'm not going to like be creepy and like get super close to the camera or anything like that. But I have a, a bit of a blood clot or a blood aneurysm. What, what do you call it in the eye? You know, like a blood spot where, you know, you've been stressing too much. You've been straining, you know, and uh, blood vessels pop sometimes in the whites of the eyes sort of idea. And it kind of freaked me out. And this was last week and such and I honestly think it was caused by Tizer. That's the level of stress I have over Tizer. Not my dwindling paycheck, not the fact that I can barely pay off my credit cards, not the fact that I work hard at my day job and then work on YouTube, which I do not monetize and is a very, it's growing but at too slow a pace to make any money. None of that. Nope. Those stresses pale in comparison to the insult that is Tizar season three. <sighs> That's it. I can't say any more. I hope episode 22 does me different. Does not do me dirty. Does not make me feel so goddamn salty towards a series that I would have held in my top 15 anime manga of all time two years ago and now I can barely stomach to say I like it because I both read the manga up to date and watch the anime up to date and both are trash they are shit yeah like comment subscribe ladies and gentlemen dislike the video if you think I'm just hating but I'm a completionist I'm going to see this season through to the end. I can't promise that if anything else comes out, I'll review it. But I will see the season through to the end. But I'm not going to hide my feelings. I'm not going to pretend that this is any good. I'm going to continue to bring you this hate rant of a video to the bitter goddamn end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drink responsibly as always. See you back here next time. Griever signing out.